Warriors travelled to the stoop looking for back-to-back -back wins over the top two in the Aviva Premiership, but knowing history versus Quinn stood against them. David Lemmy ignores history, though. The Samoan received the ball with work to do on the left wing on two minutes and squeezed over for 5-0. Andy Goode couldn't add the extras. With Worcester 8-0 ahead, Carl Dixon almost responded with a try of his own. The wily scrum half just couldn't get the ball down as he darted over. Nick Evans took advantage of the subsequent penalty to get Quinns on the board. Worcester stretched their lead to eight once more from Goode's boot before David Lemmy was penalised in the ruck and sent to the sim bin. Evans took this as a points invitation and closed the gap to 11-6. Warriors went eight points clear for a third time, but a magnificent run from Matt Hopper cut deep into the Warriors' line, and minutes before half-time, Quinns with the conversion from Evans were back to being one. The first half action hadn't finished. Warriors number eight, Samissi Tualava, collapsed to Quinns Moore and earned himself an early break. Evans made it 16-14. The second half saw a more assured Quinns. Mark Lambert pulverised debutant Ian Murray in the scrum and the resulting penalty was neatly completed by the ever-steady Evans. Just as Warriors looked to have little left creatively, Alex Grove burst the Quinns line. Found the replacement Erie Classens, and Classens just managed to touch the ball on the line. Good's conversion missed from out wide. Quinn's kept on the pressure, and with Worcester on the back foot, the inventive Nick Evans dropped back a little and fired his team home just. Final score, Harlequins 22, Worcester 19.